Hello? Hello? Oh. Hi. Uh-oh. We're playing more 14. <clears throat> um, so, I, I'm not, I was never planning on, like, streaming this, like, re regularly. Just kind of like, here's what I'm doing now type thing. Um, so I am currently in, that's not the one I want to press. I am currently, I guess this is the one I want to show. Um, in the patch 2.55, um, quests right after uh, Realm Reborn, so like right before Heaven's Word is right where I'm at. And I am actually, I actually do need to press this button because I need to go to... <coughs> the Steps of Faith. Am I just... There it is. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> going crazy here. Um, I, I also have like a bunch of like duties here that are just not shown because they're all literally just do a dungeon. Um, but I want to go through... Um, I want to go through the main scenario quest um not quickly but some somewhat like quickly i guess i'm not trying to rush through it but also i want to actually um progress you know and walkers in what three or so weeks so i want to kind of want to get a move on a little bit considering that i want to at least make it into heaven's word you know um and i thought i would stream it because um Because I always, uh, <clears throat> I feel like I always pay attention better if I'm if I'm recording. I never notice these pipes bursting like that, and I don't like that. That's disgusting. Oh, the, wheel, the wheels actually spin? That's pretty neat. I didn't even know that. But yeah, we're still here in... Coerthus, I guess? Yeah. Every day I find new shit with this game. Not like, not like bad things, but just like, just like little little moments that I just encounter there were there was a uh, last night um a bunch of players up here in the mountains holding a, a vigil for uh Asmongold's mother and uh, for those who don't know um Asmongold is a, a pretty popular WoW streamer who recently transplanted over to uh FF14 um I don't know a lot about his content other than the fact that he was a WoW streamer. He tried out FF14 and basically brought a bunch of um, WoW players with him to try out the game for the first time. And it just so happened to coincide with, you know, the FF14's new trial, the critically acclaimed MMO of Final Fantasy XIV, right? Um, but <clears throat> uh, his mom had been having uh, health problems from from what I uh, know and uh, she recently passed away uh, I didn't actually know what they were talking about because they mentioned Zach and I was like who's Zach and all that um, but I, I went on Twitter like right after and uh, basically found out there um, I'm hoping he's finding some uh, I'm hoping he's finding some quiet time to himself basically just kind of you know spend time with his family um take the time to grieve you know i don't know anything about him other than uh, he plays his game you know 
and um, just just seeing like a just seeing like a a small group of people, you know, kind of pay respect to that, and just kind of welcoming welcoming everybody in, no questions asked was it's you know not not really something that you see very often. Uh, uh, it it was pretty interesting, you know, but um. Just, just thought I would share that. That was kind of part of my recent experience with this game. Um, what is that? kicking my ass. <laughs> Thanks, whoever this guy is. Oh man. I feel bad having to leave them, but... Use cannons. All right. Okay. The last, the last raid we did um, was complicated as shit. Oh, shit.
did that even work? Did that even do anything? I don't think it even did anything. What? This doesn't seem too complicated, but I assume we had to kill them before he reaches his gate, which he's really close right now. I don't know. I don't mind the. I don't mind the simple boss. Fucking boss disappears. looks so washed out in the recording. I hope that's not what that actually looks like. It looks so gray. <laughs> the dragons, they're withdrawing. 
Hip hip hooray. Will you let me into your DLC content yet? <laughs> It's funny because the last time I saw like a physical paywall in a game, I was so disgusted by it. But this time around, I'm just like, no, nah, it's fine. Maybe because I already have it, but man. Uh, the whore will not soon recover from this blow. What of you, Nidhogg? Why did you not join your minions and make of this battle of slaughter? Have you grown so fond of the stench of your lair? <clears throat> Mayhaps you prefer to have your allies fight your battles for you. You have a girl to do your bidding now, do you not? No matter. I shall slay Iceheart and all the rest. Can't tell you, good guy or what? But I yearn to spill the blood of a great worm, Nidhogg, and only your death will sate my land. So he's... He's, uh... He's good guy, but it does not make him good guy. Kind of dick. Anyway. Anyway. <sighs> Dragons are routed. I can't. I don't know. I know he's British, but I don't know what his voice sounds like. I mean, I do. I just haven't paid paying attention. Uh, finding of the seal vigil was also fierce, but my crystal braves were not found wanting. Here's this guy again. Ever watched um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged? Like the character of uh, Duke Devlin where he shows up. Whenever he shows up, like a uh, sexy back is always playing in the background. That's what I see whenever I see him. Or that's what I hear, rather. Commander Leveilleur. Like he, sa he sounds like a surfer dude, just like him. True to your word, you arrived to aid us in our hour of need. That's what he sounds like. <laughs> He sounds pretty posh also. On behalf of the Holy See and the people of Ishgard, I offer you my humble thanks. But not too humble. I am... I am important, after all. Though I would stay and lavish you with well-deserved praise, I fear I must away to so oversee the aftermath of the siege. Not all the dragons are fled, and they are yet wounded to be carried from the field. Pray, let us meet anon, that I might express my thanks with the proper courtesy. Maybe it's because I've been exposed to it for so long, but like the 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 old timey English speak does not bother me as much as it did at the beginning. Also, I feel like they've been using it a lot less. I think there's like one or two characters that still continue to speak like that. Um, what's his name? Urianje speaks. Like, fucking Master Yoda. Uh, through your deeds, we have achieved the victory of single importance. With the Dravanian horde thus weakened and scattered, the threat to Ishgard has been greatly diminished. And mayhap, equally significant, the Holy See must now recognize the necessity of cooperation with foreign powers. Long have they barred their gates against the outside world, but I am confident that the day will soon come when Ishgar proclaims itself a member of the Eorzean Alliance once more. Much have we sacrificed in our struggles against dragons and primals, the Asians and the Empire, but step by unfaltering step we march ever nearer to our goal. And as ever, the journey is made with you in the van. The victory you have won this day gives us greater hope for the morrow. Tis a hope that shall sustain us in the days to come and bear us past the many evils that yet seek to hinder our progress. Yes, we have done well, my friend, and I, for one, would take a moment to savor the enormity of our achievement. Next quest, have a drink at a bar. Show up to the bar. There's no beer. The demands of duty, however, allow me little time for levity. See, he can't even have a beer. He can't even have a drink. I must accompany G Captain Ilbert back to Ulda and reassign those braves whose squads suffered heavy losses. You, my friend, have earned a rest of the rising stones. Pray, return to Revenant's Toll, and share your tale with Nephilia in person.
I'm also looking into, um, I'm also looking into, um, uh, streaming from, uh, streaming from my PS5. Uh, there's nothing right now that I want to stream specifically on it. I mean, the only game I have really on it is uh, Demon Souls. Um, of course I have all my other PS4 games, and, uh, I could just go and buy Integrate already because I'm gonna buy that anyway. Because I was able to get the. Because I had a copy of FF7R, like physical. And so I was able to. I was able to upgrade that to the PS5, but it does not come with. It um, doesn't come with Integrate. And apparently there's no physical way to get Integrate. Even the PS5 version of the game, you still have to download uh, Yuffie Adventures, which sucks because I feel like if you're going to repackage something, right, if you're going to go through the trouble, why not just, why not just have it downloaded onto the disc itself? I'm actually kind of curious if it's just a single disc itself because um, when I inserted my PS4 disc, uh, I still had to, you know, of course, I still had to do the install disc first and then the play disc. But it's interesting. Like, I wonder what the PS5. I mean, I, it couldn't be that different, could it? Because it's the same Blu ray disc, I think. But I could be wrong. It does sound fucking terrifying, though. Whenever it, whenever the PS5 was reading a disc, I thought something was wrong with my system. Apparently, it it sounds like that. But I, again, I could be wrong. But like, it when it first reads a disc. It sounds like it sounds like it could chop off your finger. Like it, it's spinning. You can hear it spinning so fast and like so violently, and it it feels like it's gonna like shatter in there, and then it just quiets out. And it's the quietest thing. It is actually, it's actually kind of um, not concerning, <laughs> I guess. But but when whenever I listen to it, I'm like, uh, should it not be making a noise? So, I don't know. Um, while we wait, actually, I want to run <laughs> Praetorium again, just one more time. Actually, I need to run it two more times. Uh, so, last time, I was I was trying to get the jacket, but apparently there's like, a, there's like mounts in there also, and now I want the mounts. So that's gonna be another hour. Depending on how quickly I can get through that, I might have time to run that twice, which means which means at least two hours of the stream will just be Praetorium. And I hate that. I maybe I'll run it once and then and then I'll cut the stream um, before I run it again because it's kinda boring to look at at this point. Everyone just kinda everyone kinda knows what to do already. You must be weary, Sora, and now may very well be your only chance to. I, I don't know what the Tara sounds like, actually. I think she's also British. I think everyone in this game is British. Hi. A messenger from Ulda arrived with a missive for you. Ah, oh, what is it, Tataru? Thank you. The royal seal. Curious indeed. That's pretty good, I think, right? I think it's a pretty decent, decent midfilia. I'm actually curious because uh, I, I don't, I, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know if um, this is supposed to be the new boy. Uh, clearly not this one. Ah, an invitation. But I, I know that they changed voice actors after. Uh, after a realm reborn so i'm kind of curious as to how drastic that of a different how different that sounds i think the only voice i heard was thancred 
but because only because he's in the opening credits for uh, for Shadowbringers. And I don't even know if he's one of the people that got a different voice actor. I I know for a fact Alfino, uh, Minfilia, and uh, some uh, someone else. I don't know, it might be Uriange, but I know at least those two had different voice actors. So, on behalf of the kind, like I keep doing that, the Council of the Yours and the Alliance, Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Ulnamo invites the Signs of the Seventh Dawn to attend a feast at the Royal Power Palace of Ulda in honor of Ishgard's recent victory. It would seem we are to be recognized for our part in lifting the siege. You, for your valiant efforts as commander of the Adventurer's Contingent and the Archons for their earnest attempts to rouse the city-states. I do love that some of the dialogue gets changed sometimes depending on how far you are in your grand company and also like what class you're playing as. I, I, for I keep forgetting the name of the Dolman lady that we rescue, but um, she's a ninja and she points out that I'm playing as a ninja. I find it strange that the Alliance leaders should think themselves deserving of a place at such a celebration. All three refuse to deploy their standing armies, preferring to send hastily assembled companies of swords, many of whom perish ere the siege began. Are they truly so brazen as to seek to share in the glory of your triumph? Yeah. Uh, but mayhaps they simply seek a pretext to meet with the Ishgardians while the mood is yet jubilant. Such an occasion would present a fine opportunity to press for Ishgard's return to the Eors and Alliance. You have scarce had time to mourn mourn Brita and I for what man. We talk about that. That happened off stream. I was just like I was just thinking about I was like, oh I hope Mon Bri Mon Brita is like a regular. Like I hope she just stays. She's my favorite. And of course she fucking dies. Pissed. Um, and I for one am in no mood to cruise. But I suppose we must put, we must put away our grief for the good of the realm. Though you were promised rest, I fear I must insist you also attend. It would be a strange celebration indeed if the victorious hero were not present. Pray content yourself with the thought that such occasions may bring about momentous change, and this without recourse to bloodshed. I love how she's promised me rest, like, I think, um, 90 quests ago. She's promised me a break every single time I see her, and she never fucking does. If you would do me the favor of contact, contacting the rest of the silence. Of course, Antecina. I don't know what she sounds like. Please let me know if there's anything else I can do. <sighs> Here's, I've never known Tatar to sigh at such requests. Could aught be amiss? I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna check in on her, am I? I've had too much food. My stomach hurts. I might cut the stream early. I haven't eaten all day. Really? Took that long to figure out she wasn't around and I had to survey the area? Tataru, I believe she just stepped outside. She did seem rather preoccupied. Yeah, and I just, um, it's kind of binged and I really shouldn't be doing that. But, um, it's bad for you, just in general, but especially bad if if you make a habit of it. Not that not not saying that I make a habit of it, you know, but um, whenever I do do it, it's it's like oh, I, oh, I overdo it. Who are you?
I need to level up my blacksmith. Oh, sorry, it's you. I didn't mean to worry anyone. It's nothing, really. But it feels like nothing compared to the towering trials you and the others face every day. That's why I should probably talk to Minfilia before things get any worse. I always know what to say, Sora. I'm glad we had this little chat. Okay, glad I could help. I wish that the seventh heaven was a bit more uh, pronounced, I guess. But I guess it's in it's inconspicuous, and that's the point. That's <sighs> anyway. Yes, Tataru, you have my undivided attention. Uh, time is what I'm here to ask you for. Yeah. There is, in fact, something I've been wanting to try my hand at. Along with the adventures and the Crystal Braves, signs are constantly being thrown in dangerous battles and deadly pre predicaments. Even Hori Boulder and Coltonette have been promoted from guard duty to fill our needs for com for competent warriors. Does she want to fight? She wants to fight? <laughs> I should be both your receptionist and your bodyguard. Oh my god, Tataru's gonna die. That's the first time I've almost been knocked to the ground by a Lalafell. I've never seen Miss Tataru so determined. Has that befell which, with which I might help antecedent? Ah, uh, not at present. Thank you. Was there something you would ask of me? Uh, was injured while at our brawl. We cannot properly defend the scholars entrusted to our protection without the aid of at least one more guard. I humbly request that another adventurer. Ah! Perfect! I'm just sitting in the room. I'll do it. I have nothing better to do. <laughs> I didn't even get to go to that party that they told me I would go on. I hope it's not anytime soon. Minfilia is eyeing you with a mixture of regret and desperation. Uh, yeah. I have. I realize that you are rather more than a capable adventurer. And that escort duty is frankly beneath a man of your town, but I have no one else to turn it to at present. Might you be willing to forego rest and assist us in this matter? See, look, she just she just did it again. She just promised me rest again. And and like no, do something else. I didn't even finish the other thing. I explained the import of the task in question. For some time our order has employed a handful of scholars to travel around Eorzea taking etheric readings that we might better understand the impact of primal summonings. It behooves us to ensure our employees' safety, and so we ask the adventurers in our service to serve as escorts. Hori Boulder and Coltonette were to act as two such escorts, as was a third adventurer. Um, yep. Some mysterious unnamed third character. Hori Boulder will share with you the details of your task. He should be waiting for you outside. Be safe. Um, how long? How much longer? I'm gonna look this up with the seventh. That's like the top of my results. If you if you type seven on my computer, it auto it auto fills the seventh astral era quest because that's the that's the post uh, a realm reborn patch um, quest, and I'm just I keep searching it to figure out where am I. Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, uh, not that, not that far, actually. Eight more, including these ones. All right, time for time for Praetorium.
How many times have I seen this cutscene? Just to see everybody just standing around here. Thanks. Oh, nice. Someone's first time here, huh? poetics I have and do I even have space for it? I guess I do. Apparently you only ever have limit for like two of them or two two thousand and so you're all you're always constantly having to buy things for it and I'm running out of shit that I care about to buy. That's the one time that's useful. <laughs> I don't even know what that was that paralyzed me. I feel like after a certain point they should just let you skip cutscenes. I don't know what the deal is with this one. The fact that they never went back and changed that is also really baffling to me, but you know what? Whatever. I just work I you know, I don't even work there. I just I'm just I just play this game. But don't worry, I'll just I'll just run this once on stream. And then, uh, I'll do the other one off stream because it, it literally, you know what? I'll actually take a look at the time this time. It was like around 8.55 or whatever by the, when I started this. Um, so yeah, let's say nine o'clock, right? So let's, let's be a little bit generous with it and see how long it takes. What is that noise? I am incredibly tired also, I don't know what it is. I woke up at like, well I didn't get a lot of sleep the night before anyway, and I woke up at um, 8 o'clock in the morning, because I had to, not even, I, I woke up at 7.45 because I had to leave at, I had to be at work at like 9.30 in the morning. That's the first time that's made noise, what's up with that? Is there like something behind them or what? I've never heard this before, or maybe I just straight up wasn't paying attention. I always do have a podcast whenever I'm playing this.
This is very weird. Is that like is that like coming from him or like where he's standing? Cause like it went away as soon as we he went down. Ugh. What the hell is everybody? There you go. My fault. I should have told him. I was on my way over. I had to. Something came up and I had to run out real quick.
This is a long cutscene, too. Oh no, they're already getting started. I can see, I can see my EXP going. Oh no. Damn, bro. Hey, they can fucking boost it out of there. Holy shit. This is different walking here by yourself when everything's dead. Oh, man. No, go away. What is that? I wish you could sprint in this thing. I guess if you, sp I guess if you're like in a completely different area, you don't get EXP, but you'll still get the money for it. That's weird. And somehow, I'm right there. Oh no. <laughs> Give me a break. I, w I wasn't that far away from them at least. I think I will I think I will just uh end stream after this anyway cuz
was trying to. I was looking into. I, I was talking earlier about trying to stream for my PS Five. Um, I was looking into like game capture uh, cards, and they're like a hundred fifty dollars each. You know what I mean? Or I could just stream directly from the PS Five for now, cause I, cause, uh, cause I wanted to get um, an Oculus Rift, not a Rift, an Oculus Quest Two. Um, I had been eyeing that for quite a while. Um, I might just get one of the smaller ones because I'm not really planning on walking around with it anyway. But um, I do want to play a few games on it. Um, but there are some games that I want to play um, untethered, basically, like Beat Saber for one. I definitely want to play that without a without a cord, um, and um, maybe Half Life Alex or something like that. So I was thinking of getting the 128 gigabyte. Which I think right now is three hundred or two hundred dollars. Which, for two hundred, is not that bad, considering that that's pretty much the same price that I got the PSVR for. Um, or ninety nine dollars. I I know I got it super on sale. Um, but I don't know. We'll see, cause uh, I do want to get into like VR gaming and stuff like that. And I think the Oculus Quest is a uh, nice. Uh, pretty affordable um pc headset you know <sighs> that whole shit with the the fact that it's connected to facebook though is kind of putting me off of it but not enough that i want to spend a thousand dollars on a vive or a or a steam uh what's that called what is the steam one called steam deck i forget what theirs are called Anyway. Did anybody else hear that noise? That little chime? You know what's funny? I was hearing it and I thought that it was just like um something in my house um like maybe the alarm uh, going off like not the alarm but like the battery of the um alarm going off or something i don't know or maybe i thought i was just hearing it in my head um which would have been perfectly fine with but um the other day my sister kept hearing it too and she was just like what is that i'm so tired of it um but i just heard it from inside of my headphones, so I think it's in game somewhere. But the weird part is that the my PC wasn't even on the first time I heard it, and I'm just like, "Where's that noise coming from? What does that mean?" Sounds something, something. Oh my god! It's fucking frog. Oh, that's why they were making a bunch of toad puns, frog puns. Anyway, I don't know. Um, when I do find a game I want to stream on PS5, I might, I might do that. I do want to get Ratchet and Clank, but, um, I don't feel confident in purchasing a game right now until I finish another game, right? So, right now I'm playing this, which I should honestly stop so I could play the other games and finish those, because the other games I'm playing is not an MMO. This I will not finish for, like, uh, a good year, maybe. Um... But um, I'm also playing the I'm playing Demon Slayer, I'm playing Demon Souls, and I am playing Devil May Cry. A lot of a lot of demons going around with my games that I just noticed. Um, <clears throat> I also have Scarlet Nexus and um, The World Ends with You, and those are the games that are currently on my plate. This is this is like the main dish. You know what this is actually? This is like dessert. Cause like this is gonna be here forever, um, but as far as like as far as like the entrees and stuff like that, oops.
But as I was saying earlier, the original plan was to... Well, actually, the true original plan was to buy a PS5. Um, and I almost got it like months ago because uh, I was able to get first in line on PlayStation Direct. But for whatever reason, PlayStation Direct wouldn't take my card. Um, I think I'm pretty certain it's because there was uh, my... I don't usually make these kinds of purchases, right? So they uh, they blocked it. Um, be because uh, I tried to buy concert tickets and concert tickets were like $100 each or something like that. Or 110 maybe. And so I spent, um, I spent like... Uh, 230 ish dollars because I was buying tickets for me and my friend and um, I almost didn't get to buy the tickets because uh, fucking uh, my bank was just like hey what are you what are you what are you what are you and I had to call my bank and be like hey can I buy these tickets and they're like oh yeah sure here you should be okay I'm like thanks um, which you know it wouldn't be a problem but if, if most of my large purchases are have to do with things like that that are like time sensitive you know like ps5 they only they only let you keep the stuff in your uh, cart for like 10 minutes maybe or whatever um but i got i got this one through target um for anyone still curious as to how to get a ps5 um target is pretty reliable with drops they always do it at four in the morning if they have some um and uh, maybe maybe talk to your bank, but I was able to order it through PayPal, um, and you can just go there and pick it up. And uh, that's what I did. They just had some ready um, in my town, and I almost lost it again because uh, I I thought about it for like 10, 15 minutes, and then I looked at my bank account. And I was like, do I really want to buy a PS5 right now? And I'm like, you know what? I always said the next time I see a PS5 and I can buy it, I'm just gonna go buy it. And so I said, okay, I'm hit by. And it says, yeah, sorry, unavailable. I was like, shit. I was like, fuck. And then I and then I remember there was like another target in town. I'm like, oh, okay. And I went there and then they still had some. So I said, okay, whew. So I was able to get it. Um, it's fun so far. It's just that most of my games right now are PS4 games. So I need to buy some PS5 games. I really want to buy Kenna, actually. Um, I didn't know that that was like a $40 game. That's really interesting to me because I don't think that even has a PS4 release. I could be wrong. Um, the price hike of video games to $70 or $80, not everyone was a fan of, you know? But um, I kind of understand it. It's kind of like a, a generational gap, right? Like between PS2 and PS3, PS2 games were $40. And I remember the the amount of uproar when uh, PS3 games and Xbox 360 games were sixty dollars and that became the standard, right? Um, it seems, however, this time that only PS5 games are eighty dollars, which is crazy to me. Um, and then if you're buying it anywhere else, it's like sixty dollars. I'm pretty sure Demon Slayer for the for the um, PC and the PS4 is like sixty bucks, but if you buy it on PS5, it's like uh, seventy. Maybe not the Demon Slayer game, but but uh, there was one game that I was looking at that was also available somewhere else, and it was like um, the, the the prices were different, and I'm just like I could just buy the previous gen version and just get a free upgrade to it. Or, or I could just get the PC version of it, which might probably run better for me. I don't know. My my sister was telling me that the PS5 is definitely stronger than my PS5, and I'm like, yes, obviously. Sorry, what did I say? The PS5 is stronger than my PC, and I'm like, yes. Of course it is. I love I love it when they have little quotes like this, and the guy is just getting obliterated. I can't even see him.
<laughs> He's fucking dead. <laughs> But when I failed to get the PS5 through the through PS Direct, um, I just said, you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna get a PC. And I and I went ahead and um, I redid everything in my room to accommodate, um, partly um, to accommodate for a PC, but also because I kind of just hated everything in my room anyway, and um, I was just I was just super tired, and I knew that. Um, I knew that I couldn't stay in the room for very long like this because my old stream setup I, I don't know how much I've talked about it before but you know what the game is incredibly quiet that's why there it is um I can't believe it took me like an hour to notice that um such as a stream for me um what was I gonna say oh uh, my, I, I don't know if I might have mentioned it before, but my old stream setup was a nightmare because I kind of designed my room to be um, mostly just for watching TV for whatever reason. Like I didn't even have a chair in here and my bed is like it's just far away enough that um, it kind of made gaming from my TV, uh, gaming from my uh from my bed uncomfortable like of course it's a bed like so I have to sit all the way in the back if I want to lean up against something right or I would just stand and it was uncomfortable um the closest thing would be like sitting on the floor which was just close enough but it also meant I'd be sitting on the ground on my ass on, on hardwood floor and, and it sucked because it I couldn't game for very long because it just it just straight up hurt my butt just like sitting and so I I was like I'm so tired because what I would have to do is Whenever I would stream, I didn't even have a platform to have the microphone on. Like right now, I just have it on the desk. Um, the crane arm that I used to um, stream with, um, there was just no spot for it, really. Um, there was no like adequate spot where I could be like this close to the camp through the microphone um, and game at the same time. So I would just prop the microphone up on my trash can. And I would basically, what I would do is I would... I would basically hug the trash can so I would have the microphone right in front of my face and then um, kind of cradle cradle the trash can with my hand so that I could so that my mouth is always like right in front of it you know and it sucked it absolutely sucked and I hated it but um I knew I wanted to change my room. I, I was just, I was just super tired of it, and I, I'm glad that I was able to do that actually because I, I love the way that I was able to do my room. Honestly, I got rid of all the furniture besides the bed, which I was actually planning on getting rid of also. But it was just by the time my friend got back to me about, hey, can I buy your bed? I had already decided to keep the bed, so it was far too late, unfortunately. But. Um, It's not that I hated the bed, it's just that um, for the room that I wanted, I needed more space. And I was thinking of putting a desk underneath the bed, but ah, I just went ahead and stuck with the bed. And um, got a desk, got a bunch of bookshelves here. I could do with a few more shelves actually, now that I think about it, but I don't know. You know, it, it, it feels a bit more cramped in here, but also because everything is so like in its own spot, for some reason, that feels like a little bit more um, orderly, right? Whereas I just, I just used to have like garbage just in my I just didn't get it. Most of my room, honestly, is designed around. My sister has a very similar room setup because, um, I don't know. She she designed her room to have a PC in mind from the get go. So she always she always intended to have a, a PC. So when we moved in, she already had like um, a space ready 
for. And uh, I just didn't think about it, you know. I didn't even used to have a, a, a stand, a TV stand. Not a TV stand, but um, yeah, no, that's true. Uh, my old room straight up didn't even have a TV stand. It just had a desk, which always had like garbage on top of it. And um, and my TV, which because it didn't have a stand on it, would just sit back when this back when we had carpeting, so it would just kind of lean sideways. And that's how I played like Metal Gear Solid and like Birth by Sleep and all those games back when I had a PS3. And that's how I played video games. And um. Uh, I managed to get like this, um, it, it, I don't think it was even supposed to be a TV stand. I think it was just supposed to be like, um, where a stereo is supposed to go. And I just kind of outfitted that and put the TV on top of it. Um, I didn't have a big TV back then, but it was like, you know, it had like shelves on it. So I could put like my games in it and I could put my console in it. But I, more importantly, I could put the TV, um, on top of it and prop it up. Right. Um, but, uh. Soon, as soon, uh, my my sister gave me her TV, and uh, um, I was able to get a wall mount for it. I was able to get a a wall mount for it, and I was able to um, get a different um, desk setup when we re when we basically had to remodel the house, and I was like start over, get a new bed, get get new furniture all around. I designed my room to look like a living room. And so I didn't have a chair. I had to get rid of the chair. And I don't know why I thought of that, but um, I kind of hated it. <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of made it stressful coming in because I was like, ugh, you know, and like my little um, my little stand here where I would where I'd keep all my shit. I was like, ugh, you know, like it's so messy, and I'm just kind of like stuffing things in it, you know. Um, but slowly but surely, I was able to like move stuff around. I still need to get rid of things, actually. You know, I gotta stop buying things what I need to do. A spell without parallel. Ultima. I sought the life force of the primals for no other reason but to quicken the core. For the true power of the Ultima weapon lies within its now beating heart. I can't believe I have to re-watch all these cutscenes again. You know what, I don't even want the other mount. <laughs> I'll just get the one. Cause there's like, there's several of them. There's, there's two that are specific to this event I think, and then there's two that's just always around. Um, they're like much cheaper, they cost like 30. Um, they cost 30 irregulars, which I could just get right now, but I, eh, I kinda like, I don't like the way they look. It's like a unicorn or something like that. But I want the bird. There's a bird, and then there's a there's a thunderbird, and there's a fire dog. And you'd think I'd go for the fire dog, but it's not as interesting. I feel like I mentioned this during the last Final Fantasy stream I did, but like the the parallels of, as me coming from like Kingdom Hearts and like actually experiencing Final Fantasy, where like all those tropes came from, 
um, it's really interesting to me because, like, even down to the fact that you have the the hooded figures in control of the Disney characters is like a trope borrowed from Final Fantasy, or at least um, from this, from what I've seen. You know what I mean? Like La Habrea working alongside um, Gaius Van Belsar, and like La Habrea is clearly more powerful, but needs Gaius to carry out, you know, his plan. Same thing with like the organization members manipulating like Beast because like you know we need the negativity in her heart blah blah. I think that's pretty cool. Of all the places to go to like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> What? I guess I never un I guess I never bothered to like lock on anything. I never even knew those existed. I guess those are what's causing the blue thingies to go off. <laughs> I learned something new every day. Unrivaled power. You were entrusted with the ultimate weapon, the ultimate magic. And still, you failed. This entire so cutscene. Glory of man. And then you just punch La Brea in the face. Apparently, this motherfucker is still alive. <laughs> I'm like, cut the fuck on. That's kind of cool though, because this is the first. This is the first. This is the first dude that you fight. The fact that he's still around is a little bit annoying, but I was like, oh, cool, he's still relevant for a while. Beyond all recognition. Know you the root of this corruption, Hydalin. Like a parasite, she must be burned out. To recover, and not but the return of the one true God will ensure her complete excision. 
Yet, to pave the way for the Master's return, a chaotic confluence of untold proportions must needs be brought about. And that will necessitate the presence of the Primals. Needless to say, both you and your Scion accomplices cannot be suffered to interfere in this endeavor. You will not leave this place alive. It is past time for friends to I don't know if I ever put up the other FF14 video that I did on YouTube, but this video will also be going up on my YouTube channel. Yay. Crazy seeing this in first person. My Ninky Gauge. Displays the current amount of Ninky a ninja has accumulated. Builds up inside a ninja's body when certain weapon skills are performed and can you use to execute a special. Okay. Okay. I unlocked the Ninky Gauge. Um, I need to put that somewhere. <laughs> it's not annoying to look at. Um. I wish it wasn't like... You know, everything here is so square. And then, and then that shows up and it's, it's so not. <laughs> it's bothering the shit out of me. <laughs> okay. Alright, here, let's do that. There you go. Maybe. Close enough. Should have gotten a class with more with more straight lines. <laughs> anyway, um we're gonna uh, I'm gonna cut it here because um I'm not feeling well. Um but uh, I will stream more FF14 sometime soon. Until then, uh, I hope you had a fantastic evening. Until then, stay safe, take care, and peace out. Bye-bye!